And I guess to start with, just for the benefit of the recording in the room, uh, there was a bit of chatter uh, in the chat during this. Uh, there was some question about uh, whether the explain feature works with the BM25 algorithm or if it's only working with the TF-IDF uh, based relevance scoring. Uh, there was some discussion about the differences between uh, solar and elastic search. Um, it was mentioned that in recent versions of solar, uh, it's using BM25 scoring by default. Um, and it looks like the explain in this example is using TFIDF because they're still on solar four. Um, so there might be some question of, uh, how this code might need to be adapted to account for newer versions of solar. Um, it was asked whether the there is a plan to publish the code for the explain tool. And uh, it sounds like yes, to be explained, perhaps right now. Oh, so yeah. Um, we are looking to make a pull request for this code. I mean, just like the examples Thomas presented, we don't really have that big of a say if it will get included in view find, but we hope that's something we can do. I'm not really sure about the particulars about the BM25 and TF-IDF. Maybe Uwe knows about this. Yes, um, the difference between TDF, IDF, and BIM 25, there is one, but uh, this is just a minor factor. If you take a look on the default configuration of the search box YAML in uh, Vanilla View Find, you find there uh, multipliers with more than 100. And if you assume uh, the difference between BM25 or TDF-IDF might be the difference between 1.110 and 1.5, so just perhaps some percentages. Um, and after this, you have a factor of 100. So it's really a big difference. And uh, the explain like we created it, it just uh, visualizes the information from the index. And we do not rely on the underlying full text search algorithm. So, uh, it really doesn't matter uh, if there is TDF, IDF, or BM25 or something else. Uh, it's just needed that the search system has an explain function. And one of our the challenges Dennis had to deal with was that this explain information provided by Solar changes nearly every solar version. So while developing the system, we had uh, to have a closer look to all versions in solar 4. Um, and in some versions in 8 and 9, we have also looked if there is a difference if you are using uh, the standalone installation or the cloud installation of solar. So um, I don't think you have to be worried about the internal, uh, truly highly sophisticated algorithm of the search system. Um, it's more visualization of what is going on in view find and when you tweak the results sorting by changing the search back YAML, um, how to explain the effects because they are often very surprising. Yeah. 
Yeah. So uh, we did testing from Solar versions 4 through 9, and it's mostly just to explain other in Solar, if you know what it is. It was the big text I showed in the beginning, and that's what I translate into the explanation. So if that keeps mostly consistent, we can use that. Great, thank you. So um, if anyone else has questions, uh, you can either post in the chat, or if you're in the room, you're welcome to come up to the mic here, or I can repeat your question as you prefer. Uh, and if nobody has anything, I can share a few thoughts, but I'll give everyone else a chance first. A question about the explain add-on. Is that something intended for the end user or just for like systems librarian kinds of people? Uh, it depends. Uh, surely it depends on the scope that your viewfind installation has. Uh, in our installation, I would think we will have this as a feature for the system librarians because um, uh, our system librarians are allowed to tweak the search back XAML file and change the relevant sorting and by adding search fields or removing search fields, uh, tweaking uh, the result lists by their own. So it should be a tool for them. Perhaps this discussion isn't closed. Uh, we um, will have something like uh, explain light for end users as an option uh, because um, we have some advanced users and they tend to ask or to correct us. So yeah. questions like, here is my uh, PhD uh, work and why isn't this at the first place and only in the second place? This can't be right. Mine, my work is the most relevant. <laughs> Yeah, so let's add to this. Currently, we can just either put it on or off in the configs. And we, have, we are thinking about making it so it's more like attached to roles or like the admin accounts only see that. And mostly it was intended for the librarians. And in cases where someone would ask, they would ask the librarian and the librarian could then ask them. And but it's uh, yeah, it's considerable to make light version or give it to all the end users. It's it depends on case to case, I would say. Um, and not only for the librarians. So uh, at Habis, we have for our libraries a highly adapted index schema and a totally different search back XAML than the default view find. And um, this was developed by me with a lot of help of the cited tool, which was originally created by Ralaf Cook. And um, it helped us really a lot and even in my daily work i know our index schema very very well but sometimes it surprises me anyway <laughs> uh, and um, it's a help for developers too so we had uh, a question in the chat. Is it possible to use the explain tool in other viewfind versions too? And I assume the answer is if we get a pull request, then we can look at uh, incorporating it into future versions or the code will at least be 
out in public where people could adapt it as needed to their own uh, situations. Mm -hmm. We have it in view find three and view find nine to share uh, the software. Uh, the view find three vers version um, sh isn't really ready to share, but uh, the a pull request might be a great um, uh, starting point to adapt it to their own view find version. That sounds great. Uh, I thank you again. We have uh, two minutes left. So I'll, I'll sneak in my comments just to say, of course, pull requests are always welcome. These th seem like things that may be of interest to others. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't turn them down uh, without good reason. Uh, regarding the uh, patron API, um, I do have some thoughts about how that might be made secure. We don't have to go into all the details there, but I would suggest that if you're thinking of porting it into the viewfind environment, I'd wait until viewfind 10 development has been underway a little more because of that uh, database abstraction change I mentioned in the uh, state of the project. I wouldn't want you to do a lot of work and then discover a month later, you have to completely rewrite all of it because of <laughs> an abstraction layer change. So just keep that in mind and, I'm happy to talk in more detail whenever it's convenient for you. Okay, sounds great. All right, well, thank you everyone. And I think we're now going into another 15 minute break and coming back at uh, half past the hour here for more viewfind. So thanks again. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. <laughs>